Hello there, kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten a mission from the Jedi Council. We are now to find the bits of the star map that is fragmented, but we originally found the base map here on Dantooine. Now we are off to find these bits and pieces from Manan, Kashyyyk, Tatooine, and Korriban. Maybe not necessarily in that order. So, what we're going to do is get onto the Ebon Hawk and fly to those systems, since we've already helped most of Dantooine with their problems, or at least as much as we currently can. But, uh, yeah. Also, Juhani's joining us because we helped her from, you know being taken over by the dark side. So she's decided to join us, because apparently we can teach her a lot. Oh, Bastila seems to have something on her mind. Perhaps you should talk to her. Okay. I'll what talk to her. Uh, you look like something's bothering you. No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking mm -hmm. about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a yeah. bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of yeah, the bond well. and its effect on our mission remain in question. I think you're more interested in just the bond between Please. us. I'm a Jedi. This is where you can flirt with such her a little bit, I guess. Attractions of, well, such mystery, attractions, I huh? I admit, I find you intriguing. I, I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing, but nice my save. interest in you is purely academic. Surely you can understand why. Our fates uh -huh. are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. Oh, yeah? I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Uh, our relationship? Is this some kind of clumsy come on? I was referring to the bond we share. The one that uh -huh. the council spoke of. Oh, People yeah, that. interested in you. Rest assured, I could come up with a much better approach than this. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? I guess I touched a nerve there, didn't I? Touched a nerve? No. Getting on my nerves most definitely. Okay, fair enough. I suppose this is what you men consider being witty. A little? Now, are you going to answer my questions, or would you rather just keep annoying me? The second one. <laughs> That's an option, too. <laughs> uh, I'll answer the questions. I'll answer the questions. Just Don't because worry. it's bothering simple you. Simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? I'm a hut in human form plotting to overthrow the Republic. <laughs> uh, tempting, but I don't want to associate myself with a hut. No, no. I was a scout. The fleet recruited me for my skills. Good. On which planet were you born? Good. Kashyyyk. I'm a Wookiee. Can't you tell? <laughs> no, I'm not picking that one. Uh, Duralia. It's in a remote system. Why? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> My age. I'm 3,012. Healthy living, you know. I see you intend to be childish about this. That's, 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 get that's just, just a joke. Right it's now, just a I, joke. I suppose I'll just have to speak to you again later. Hopefully you'll behave a little less like a little boy and a little more like a, like a man. Ooh. Ooh. That had some spice to it. Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> I just I made a little joke. It's something you want to ask? How did you know? I mean, your face is all... I mean, you keep staring at me. See anything you like? You are easily the vainest, most arrogant man I have ever met. Besides, a little? I know you can't be serious, since I was purposefully not staring in your direction. I Were you? Quiet, remember? I Were have you? I too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. My thoughts remain <laughs> hidden, uh -huh. including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel... I mean, whatever I think about you... <laughs> this is actually kind of cute, I'm not going to lie. You're so cute when you're embarrassed. I, that is you... Why must you be so impossibly infuriating? Because you that's me! Well what I'm really it's talking me! About. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. Uh -huh. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's yes. mind. Uh -huh. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A part of really? must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. 
The fact Fair that enough. you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences for you and for everyone around you. Uh, <laughs> you could warn me when I do something bad. Blink once for dark side, twice for light. This is not a joke. It is for me. The choices you a little make could affect both our destinies. Not to mention the fate of the Republic and the entire galaxy. There is much at stake. That's fair. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all well, with that, I might just the dark be a little asshole. Though. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. Why are you getting so upset? I'm sorry if I come across as harsh, but I am concerned. For you, for our mission, and for myself as well. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Uh, it works both ways, doesn't it? You could help me stay strong. Yes, that is true. I will do my best to guide you, but I am no master. Not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming. Your power can oh. be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. Sounds good. I mean, I would appreciate any help you could offer. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. Sounds good. Also, now all of you have a glimpse into my flirting style. <laughs> Which is be a jackass for a little bit. But just a little. Just a little. Or a lot. <laughs> anyway. Anywho... We did our little talking. Uh, I don't think anyone else really needs to do any talking because they haven't come up with anything yet. Maybe they will at some point. I don't know. Oh, the zero was because I got on and it heals me to full if I get on the ship. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Also, I'm in the ship now. I can walk around it. Oh, hi, Mission. I guess this is your room. Also, the camera is uncomfortably close in this fucking ship this is this is too much could i not just oh i have a zoom in option didn't know that oh and i can move it all around oh that's a thing you shouldn't have given me the power of okay um <laughs> can i fix can i fix the camera angle please okay not, the answer is no on that. Um, okay. Well, I've tried all the buttons. The only one I found is the zoom in option. That disengages once I start moving. Okay. I guess good to know. Okay. <gasps> Johnny! I Hi there. I must apologize for the way I acted to nice row. before in the grove. It was wrong of me. You thought the dark side had consumed you. It is nothing. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes and in my own. I forgive you. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I try to take your life. I can only hope that in our time journeying together, I will succeed. Here's hoping. Anywho, give me a second to clear my throat here. Sorry about that. Decided to take a bit of coffee as well. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Also, it's very hot. <laughs> okay, so, mission is over here. So I can talk to her. Hey there, what can I do for you? Hello. Uh, could you make me a security spike? No problem. Just so happens I've got one here I've been working on. Here you go. I'll just add it to our inventory. Anything cool. else you need? And this will allow me to just open up security doors without having to use security skill, I believe. Or it multiplies the amount I currently have. I'm not entirely sure how it works, I'll admit. But I can look into it. I can easily look into it. Anyway, could you make me another? No problem. Just awesome. so happens I've got one here I've been working. Anything else you need? Uh, could you make me another? No problem. Oh, Anything wow. else you need? Ah. Uh, no problem. Anything else you need? More? No problem. Anything else you need? Um, no problem. more? Just anything else you need? 
Another one? No problem. Anything else you need? Another one. No problem. Anything else you need? Another one? Sorry. Oh. I don't have one handy right now. Besides, we've got plenty of security spikes already. Not much point in overloading on them, is there? There is absolutely all the points in the world for overloading on the mission. But thank you anyway. Hey there. What can I do for you? Uh I want to talk to you about your brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Okay. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, she doesn't want to talk anything further on it. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Have it your way. Okay. I will have it my way. Because it's my ship. Uh, anyone else? Nope. Not over here. Not yet. Anyone over here? Supplies! Store of emergency food and supplies. Stuff in the middle box? No. Oh. Sorry about that cut. I sneezed and uh, I think hurt myself. <laughs> I'm feeling a little pain in the left shoulder here because of that. Am I having a heart attack? Maybe. <laughs> Alright. Well, is there any, anything else in some of these? No. This one? No. Apartment. Appears to be some type of hidden smuggling compartment. Without proper codes, you will not be able to open it. Can I open the rest of them and find a code? Maybe? Huh. I guess not. Okay, well. Oh, uh, well. This is where the supplies are kept, I guess. This is where the hyperdrive and the engines are. Cool shit. There's canvas over here. And the workbench where I can work on my stuff. Oh boy, I need to blow my nose. Okay, give me just a second, folks. Uh, you're killing me, Smalls. All right. Okay. I'm okay. All right, let's... Uh, ooh, Ordo's repeating blaster. I'm assuming that's Car... Not Car... What am I thinking? Candorous's weapon. Because I think his last name was Ordo. So that makes sense. Pull that one on and kaboom. Upgraded. Oh, and now we can upgrade everyone's lightsaber. Cool. Double bladed, I'm assuming is... Uh, I'm assuming that one is... She was... She was using a dual bladed one on terrace wasn't she so she probably is using this right yeah that makes sense this must be bastilus okay just gonna color it that just in case i'm wrong no i'll find out <clears throat> just just one change it because i can i don't know where this other that must be jihani's okay that makes sense okay let's make this one blue too because why not that works actually let's make jihani's yellow yeah that works cool all right so um melee stuff that's fully upgraded there's nothing i can do with that okay cool all righty can I talk to Candrus for a thing? Yeah, what do you want? I heard a lightsaber. <laughs> Must be after I uh, upgraded Jihani's. They do kind of... After you upgrade a weapon, you kind of draw it out a little bit and then put it back. That might have been what it was. Anyway, uh, I was wondering if you had any interesting stories. You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought, the enemies I've seen die by my hand. <laughs> sure. Sure. I'll remember you. My name's Candorus of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For okay. my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. 
Fair enough. Is that why you work as a mercenary? Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, mm -hmm. and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were aren't a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only Fair wanted enough. the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. Yeah, I think of the yes. battles I've fought, no, not be the great. thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned. I weep for my past. Although that's kind of this. dark as We've fuck. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, do you have adrenal stimulants? <laughs> stimulants make a warrior out of even the weakest human. Here's a stamina boosting stimulant to help you get tougher. There anything else you need? Alrighty. Uh, any more? Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough there as it is. Aww. You don't want to overload yourself on stims. Otherwise, you might destroy your adrenal system. A real warrior knows his own limits and doesn't overestimate himself. There anything else you need? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, well, we're done for now. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. And... Zalbar! Hey, buddy. Is there something you want? Uh... I was wondering if you could make... Yeah, help me with a problem, if anything. Unless you want someone threatened or a door bashed in, you should ask someone else. I want to know a little more about you, actually, Zalbar. I will honor my life debt, but don't feel we share more than that. The mission may say more, but I will not. You don't trust me? It is nothing personal, but I just don't feel you could understand anything about me. The ways of my people are not for outsiders to know. You'll have to be content with that. That sucks. I want to know more, man. You'll have to tell me eventually. That may be, but not today. Ah. Now I want to know more about Zalbar. Man, I want you to make me a grenade if you can. All right, let's see what I can do. I think I have enough parts for something. Just a moment. There you are. One grenade. Careful with it. Could you make me more? You've got a bunch already. You really don't want these things banging around together. Use them up first. Okay, I guess I'll use them up first. In a bit. I guess. I have no choice. Uh... I guess he doesn't want to tell me anything else, so okay, we'll talk later. Very well. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Jahani! Let's talk again. How may I be of assistance to you? Padawan? Uh, I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Uh, how did you come to be a Jedi? How I came to be a Jedi? Yeah. I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? Yeah, absolutely. Well, it goes back a number of years. Back okay. On my home world, we did not see Jedi very often, especially where I lived. Mm-hmm. Where did you live? Behind the end of space. A pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we okay. had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. That's Champions fair. of truth, defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. It was hmm. very easy for a child to be... Sounds almost romantic that way. ...by their image, their mystique. Yeah. Maybe I was one of those children. Maybe. Uh, did you meet a Jedi? Yes. Yes, I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old, and maybe a little enamored. Fair enough. Uh, enamored? They were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that mm -hmm. moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child. 
But mm -hmm. this child made it happen. Very as true. soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came. Although, All right. perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I, mean... I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. I mean, you're, you're clearly up to it. It's just you were not ready for everything that was expected of you, probably. That was probably a majority of it. All right, well, I think that's the end of her talking. I want to talk to more of my party! Oh. Never mind. <laughs> this is the galaxy map, the Ebon Hawk's onboard navigational computer. When you are ready to leave Dantooine, you can use this galaxy map to travel to other planets across the galaxy. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. But first, Bastila. Uh, you wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems uh -huh. fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. Yeah. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, great. I never get tired of hearing how you killed Darth Revan. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, is it true you killed him? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. You didn't kill him. But killing Revan is what you're famous for. Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was okay. Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. Whoa. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. Okay. So Malak did your job for you. As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember, okay. Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. All right. She doesn't want to talk more about how she uh, fought with Revan. Uh, mainly because it's painful for her to, uh, think about. I guess that's kind of how it goes when you're fighting Sith in general, I guess. Well, extremely powerful Sith, I assume. Alright, so, uh, Karth, let's talk to you. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, you've been very quiet lately, you know that? Have I been quiet? Suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Left out of the loop? I don't understand. Left out of the loop, you know, not being told anything strung along. It's really starting to irritate me. I get it, I get thing, it. All I right. want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. Isn't that strange? I mean, why should anything the Jedi do seem strange to you? I may not know much about the Jedi, but I do know they aren't famous for taking on old Padawans and sending them on dangerous assignments. Okay. That's fair. Um, they thought it was more important that I help find the star maps than stay. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they, don't they have to train you? They said there's a bond between Bastila and myself. A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying I mean, to provoke you or to imply you're right, that you're somehow but... responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. I mean... <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, they are asking me to do a lot of this, but there is no real reason that I was given other than I have the bond with Bastila and we're getting these visions. That's it. That's all I know. 
I mean, and what does that mean? You have to do it together. Is That's this all I can say. Destiny garbage that the Jedi keep talking about. Well, that can't be it. Well, I tell you this much: I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. I mean, I'm not going to betray you. I'm not Saul. Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul. Not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's let's just get on with what we were doing. Garth's having a uh, bit of a moment here. Sheesh. Okay. Um. All right. Let's talk to T3M4. I can talk to him. Some of you might be waiting for me to translate that. There's no, there's nothing to translate. What you hear is what you get, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, can you construct a programming spike for me? Awesome. Uh, can you construct another one? Negatory. Okay. You can't make another one just yet? Got it. Okay. Yes, sir. You don't talk much, do you? Just chime in if you ever have a, any advice. Okay. I guess he hasn't been alive long enough to develop a personality. That makes sense. I mean, he was only just freshly made on Terrace, so... Yeah, that makes sense. At least I'm assuming he was freshly made on Terrace. It was that custom job for Dabek. So, maybe that's what they meant? I don't know. I want to ask some questions. You don't even know what I was going to ask. All right, never mind. All right. I guess that was a no. I'm not talking to you. Okay, well, fuck me then. Uh, let's go to the galaxy map. We're on Dantooine. I don't know which one I want to go to first. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, I have a feeling, though, I'm going to want to make Korriban the last one. I have a feeling. Just a feeling. But I guess for now, since I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to go, I'll just end the episode here for right now, and I'll find out before I start the next episode. I can't talk anymore. That's weird. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat, playing games and... Finally on board the Ebon Hawk and getting ready to go on our big adventure. But first we had to talk with all of our party members because they all have something interesting to say in some way, shape, or form. Uh, at least most of them did. Uh, Jihani is an interesting character. Bastila seems to want me but doesn't want me. She's being very Sundara about it. And Karth is having a moment of... I don't want to be betrayed, and I know everyone's going to betray me, so I'm just going to be a massive asshole until they do it, I guess, for you.